It's going to be a chess program from Pocket War Monster. Um, you know, I'm not a master at chess. I'm not even good at club playing. Um, but I learn quite a bit from my chess. So, I'm going to... Today's theme is kind of forcing moves and blunder um, in the opening. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, attacks the pawn, defends the pawn. Uh, I guess he makes this move to defend that square. Uh, to keep the knight out of there. I attack the center. He does the classic pin. Now, I should just move that bishop and be done with the pin. But that's not what we do. I go ahead and take prematurely, which is a vast mistake. He takes, and I cannot take back because of the pin. So I just defend everything. Um, but it's another mistake here because he can take and then I can't take with the queen because the knight will get me. So I end up having to take with the pawn and everything centralized pretty good. He's going to defend the knight which is a good thing to do. I take on Passant which is a very rare uh, moment in chess typically. He takes um, and then I go for a pawn and I'm trying to get him to not be able to castle which is what happens. Um, at this point I should just go ahead and uh, instead of moving the queen there you know um, well I mean move her out. Uh, but finish my development you know get, get my pieces out um, I moved her here because I could move the bishop out and, and threaten and kick around pieces. But uh, it came to bite me in the butt because of a tactic. So if I'm going to lose my queen, which is what I'm forced to do here, I'm going to take a rook for it. And now the question is, how do I want to take that uh, rook? So I take it with the knight. Um... A better move here would have been go ahead and, and get that bishop out here. Uh, I mean, move the pawn, but move move this bishop out here, get the knight out, um, kind of manually castle if possible. But here at least you have the threat of, of getting that bishop out and tying down my defense. And if I move here, then I've got a castle uh, on a side that has already pawn, uh, pawn structure damage. Um, he doesn't do this. He basically just gives up the the pawn, um, which I gladly take, and this diagonal right here should be defended, but it's not. Uh, so he takes again. Move that queen out here and defunct and and uh, defend that. You know, defend it. Um, but he doesn't do that and again you could do something like this um, because of the check I've got to move out the bishop or move the king or or something along those lines um, and then you can just take that knight and there's not a lot I can do about it uh, but that's not what happens so he I take that's check he attacks the bishop and defends the king. I attack the pawn. He moves the pawn. And I think at this point, it, uh, he came up with a plan. But here's where I decided my plan. I want to eliminate one of these pawns here so these pawns can start rolling. But before I do that, I want to get rid of all of the minor pieces because... A queen and a rook is more powerful than two rooks, but uh, a queen and two minor pieces and a rook is much more powerful than two minor pieces and two rooks. Um, so, to implement this plan, I go ahead and just move here. He forks the two pieces. Um, I take, instead of taking with the rook, which is what he does, 
um, he had the opportunity to fork and uh, eliminate my ability to castle even though it could be manual um, it's going to take me longer to get my king into safety um, but he takes with the rook and again I, I know that I need to get safe my king has got to get safe here so I get my king safe and he takes here I take there um, a better move than doing what he, his next move is um, he moves his queen I move here he moves his queen but a better move would have been to go ahead and uh, just move the rook down uh, you know it's going to be hard for me to defend that position um, he's got plans of, of, of getting these pawns rolling get this bishop out I mean uh, just get in here and, and, and not to mention he's defending these pawns um, but he moves here so uh, the best thing to do is go ahead and get this bishop out uh, get this challenge this rook trade off a pair um, my two rooks here are much more active than your um, uh, rook and queen at the moment. I go ahead and take the opportunity. Again, this idea here is to get these minor pieces off the board. Uh, so uh, he takes with a rook, but a better choice is to take with a queen. Um, I mean, with a king. Uh, yeah, I can kind of push your king around, but. Uh, you can defend, you know, just just defend defend this situation. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to come down here and defend them laterally this way. Um, you know, uh, move this, move that, and get everything defended. This queen uh, can just scoop it up, though. So it's gonna be a very hard position for me to uh, defend. But he gives me opportunity, so he he, he takes with that uh, rook, and I can just push his king around and get into a better position, improve my pieces. Check. At this point, when he moves here, uh, my plan is to you know do move this rook over, take this pawn. Um, I'm pretty sure his plan is to uh, advance this pawn and checkmate here. Um, but I've got time. I can go here, um, take this, come down here, defend this rank, uh, attack that pawn. So this is what happens. I go ahead and go for it. A better he moves a pawn here, uh, this pawn here. But a a better move would have been to go ahead and defend up these these pawns here again they're a liability your kings out in the open um, it would have gone something possibly something like this you know I would have got that uh, that other pawn so you know three pawns against one is good odds but here's the problem uh, with the rook possibly coming down in here uh, I can check you um, kind of move some of my pieces out of the way but Basically, everything's locked up here. I can't check here um, along this diagonal. Um, I can't attack this pawn. So something like this can't happen. Um, uh, you know, my pieces are not coordinated, and and the king is defending some key squares. So you know, just you know, march the king down with that pawn keep the queen defending and it's it's hard for me to uh, it's hard for me to uh, defend everything so uh, again I get to check um, if the king moves this way then I'm gonna be hitting a check here again just move this queen down um, if you move the queen down uh, <clears throat> if, by the way, if this king would have taken uh, that pawn, that bishop back here, you wouldn't have these series of checks here. 
but um, you, you know now you're in check you've got to move uh, so you move if you go that way you know these pawns and this rook and this rook is going to basically hem you in you can defend with the queen but she's basically out of the way here so I check he moves that way check and that is to keep him on this side of the board which is going to be very vital um, later on in the game um, so check forcing moves he you know throws a pawn in the way that's fine because I'm going to defend this square because I know this is going to advance but even here I, I, something's inking at me and I, I, I sense some tactics with the, with the uh, queen here and the king there uh, you always want to keep your queen in front uh, of the you know your queen needs to be over here somewhere to defend your king um, so he continues with his plan checkmate threat check forcing move foiling his plans and uh, because of this rank um, he can't retreat uh, so I'm going to force his king in the way and now you're down um, now I'm, it's a winning position for me I just have to prove it um, he moves here my basic plan is to uh, move here uh, trapping uh, the king into a box uh, and and just basically wait until you make a crucial mistake. Um, so uh, there is an opportunity here to uh, make the game much smaller here instead of doing this whole take this pawn and you know move sorry move this here to keep the king the king hemmed in and, and take this pawn and and checkmate this way you know um, so let's make some some BS moves perhaps uh, you know you just play passively I'm going to I'm, I'm going to get you uh, which is you know this guy is a very good com uh, opponent uh, but there was a way to uh, make it much shorter uh, which would have been no sorry this uh, there's nothing you can do except do delay tactics here uh, something like um, this but if you don't do something like that then it's going to be you know you, you can make your threat but I've, I've got you. Um, that's mate. So um, the only thing you can do here is a delay tactic, which is basically, you know, throw in a check, uh, and then I, I can take back with a king and still defend those three squares, and you can make your threat, but guess what? I'm going to get you with a mate. So uh, that's what happens. But that's, you know, uh, the thing, the, one of the key things here that I want to point out is that if you know your opponent's plan and you don't go after the king and you try to combat his plan, that's different from uh, going after the king. And that's what I got trapped into. I know that he's going to try to advance this pawn and he's going to try to, uh, you know, make some threats here. And I basically... I get caught up in it and I'm just I'm just determined to make this this a queen because you know I blundered it later and it, it slowed down the game but I still got to learn some 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 play here so his his plan is to make you know get this rook over here pin this down um, again I had that same opportunity even after that move but I'm, you know, I'm determined to make that pawn a queen. So he go ahead and finishes out his plan. I pin it because I know what his plan is. This guy's a little transparent, and I, I guess, you know, 
uh, during this game, I was transparent too because he was able to to get a couple ones over me. He defends it. Uh, I just go ahead and put the pressure on. He gets the king out of the pen, and now you got to deal with that the pawn. Well, this is a pretty good forcing move. Um, take here. I still can't promote. So uh, if you take then I'm just going to promote so that's not going to do us any good um, so he makes his, his checkmate threat um, my basic you know only thing I can do is try to eventually uh, is, is to check him or move the king over to defend this this square because I know that if he moves down here then I'm going to throw down a rook but I, I, it's not his turn, so I go ahead and if I take that pawn, it's it's over for me because that's going to be check. I got to throw this down, and that's mate. Um, so I, I can't do that. So instead, I just check him again, a forcing move. It's always the wrong opportunity for him. Um, he's got to move. Uh, I go ahead and see his mate threat. Or, or possibilities of a mate threat so I defend the two squares and again if he moves down which is what he does I can go ahead and throw down he's always one step behind which is good for me but it's always you know for your play and in chess it's always good to see it and be one step ahead he checks um, I just take it because again if, if you take I'm promoting to queen I mean, if you take, I'm I'm gonna promote. So he can't afford that. He moves back, and my new plan is just to take my time and, and move up here. You know, that way you this 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 uh, his rooks got to move at that point. So I just um, go ahead and do that. He moves here, and I understand that you know he's he's got to advance something here. He's got to get something going. Um, but this pawn is really is irking him, uh, so he he goes on, and I'm I just kick him back. I mean, and now you've got to get off the rank or lose lose it. So he just goes for delay tactics, check, move out of the way. I I know eventually he he's gonna run out of checks, so I go ahead and promote. Um, after I lose this pawn, I promote, he checks, I move out of the way, move out of the way, and at this point, you know, he, he knows that he's doomed. So he moves one, and this is where he resigns, but the gameplay would continue something like this. I mean, the same theme, just the old fashioned checkmate. But, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, Again, if the turn order had been any different, if he had seen the opportunities and been one step ahead, he would have definitely beat me in this game. But um, I learned a lot just from knowing the potential and in, in the position. And that's really what you have to look for. Now, was it master play? No. Um, I blundered early in the game, and if he had played better, it would have cost me dearly. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, video interesting. Please subscribe and like. And until next time, don't knock the board over.